Namaste, Grand Rising Water Signs. Welcome, or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. For your next 48 hours, come in, come on. I've got intel. Recon is afoot. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Big cat wave. The planetary energies are as you kick your way into the next 48 hours. The moon is in can is in cancer, so it's in a home sign, darling dear. So you're getting lots and lots of power there. The moon is the ruler of cancer. It's in its home sign. So all lovely, fabulous, gorgeous loveliness is going to be going on today, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The moon in Cancer sextiles Uranus in Taurus. Yes, baby. What's going on here? It's a time for you to what? Find solutions outside of the box, darling dears. Embrace unconventional methods. This can help you move forward more easily over the next 48 hours. Venus in Pisces harmonizes with the nodes of destiny, no less. This is a chance for you to promote your artistry and experience greatness. You could meet someone who will play an in-strength role, role in your life going forward, darling dears. The universe is connecting you with people, places and things that can help you embrace your talents and put them out there. Just saw 144 on the counter for the most highs, protected, divinely guided, light worker star seed. Mm-hmm. Your runestone, darling dears. Let's kick off at a hot trot. Oh, you have two. The first, when you cast runes, you read them from right to left. The first rune is Ophela. This is represented by the world card in tarot on its face. Mm -hmm. Represented by the numbers 84, 85, 86, 87, and the letters F. And oh, this is karma.com, bad karma, darling dears. Someone's going through it. It also speaks about someone being destabilized, told to get out or fetch the black bags, bruh. Mm -hmm. Being given their what? P45 in a domicile, darling dears. It also speaks about a displacement from work. Good golly and gosh. It also speaks about someone being in a very downpressed, depressed kind of a state over a circumstance or situation they didn't want to be over. Well, guess what? Bad luck for you, because it is. This also speaks about spine, Sputnik, and mouth breather. That's watching you, darling dear. Imagine that. They've got their whole single white female on, possibly watching you like Silence of the Lamb. Watch your back, big cat, and go and watch my Don't Get Smoked video where I teach you like Kung Fu, and self-defense, fist bump, mm-hmm, outrageous for sure, darling dears, outrageous for sure, it also speaks about um, someone who's sitting in a lack of closure, they wanted to have a closing out of a circumstance or situation, well if they put themselves in that situation, I don't know what to tell you big cat, other than what the room just told me, mm-hmm, you also have manners, good golly and gosh, I know it sounds like someone is under manas by the what universe, darling dear, but manas is represented by the full card in tarot. The letter M, the numbers four, five, six, and seven. This is about taking a leap of faith. This is also more Uranus energy, darling dears. Uranus is the rebel, the revolutionary, darling dear. This is about your individualism. Mm -hmm. This is about someone, oh, this is, a te this is a tale of two stories, the lefter and the lefty, darling dear. Someone's been left behind in a circumstance or situation. They're watching the person that they left or left them, whatever the circumstance, darling dears. Potatoes and potatoes and all that. Mm -hmm. Pinkies up. Yeah. Someone took a leap of faith, darling dear, choosing, choosing themselves, not wanting to conform to some kind of constraint within a relationship. Well, world card also could represent a work situation, darling dear. Well, if it's a work situation, someone is about to take a leap of faith, go out on their own, wanted to be a rebel, possibly starting a new business. Fortunately for you, darling dear, as I told you already, Venus, the planet of money, all right? 
us, Grilla. Dot com as well as values. It's also about social urgent and uh, or urges, darling dears, to put yourself out there. Venus is harmon Venus is in Pine Pisces, harmonizing with the nodes of destiny, darling dear. A great time to promote thyself. But there's somebody not happy about this new beginning or not happy about a new beginning someone else has got. Yes, yes, yes. Good golly and gosh. The full card in the upright is air energy as well as, as I said, Uranus. This is about addiction. Somebody's taken a leap of faith and put in their addictive behaviors or persona aside, darling dear. Realized it was not getting them nowhere. Getting them stuck in what repeat cycles. This is about breaking, breaking possibly a generational cycle or breaking a cycle within of addiction and, and going towards abundance. This is taking a risk at new opportunities, darling dears. These new opportunities will be presenting themselves because um, Uranus also rules technology. This is about having faith in the most high, the universe, darling dear, for your next step forward. Listen to your spiritual downloads and it's a good time to meditate. Mm, mm. Right, let's press on. What did your ancestors think about this? I'm going to use the Moonology cards. I haven't used them in a long time. Energy for the water signs for the next 48 hours. Oh, my sleep's so twisted. For the next 48 hours. Oh, a time for healing. And what do you need to release? Everything is going back to what we was just saying about the planetary energies, darling dears, as well as the runes. This is a time to release a certain situation in order to tap into your true you. Mm -hmm. A new beginning, a balsamic moon. This is also telling me, darling dears, that this is a time for awakening, a new beginning. A balsamic moon can also be referenced as a, a waxing gibbonous moon, a time to re, redefine yourself, mm -hmm. a time to observe and align yourself with to what the universe wants to grant you and what you are what, wanting to attain, conceive, believe and achieve. This is your time, darling dears. What do you need to release? Letting go of paradigms and circumstances that no longer serve you, darling dears. We see a lot of blue here. This is the throat chakra. The throat chakra speaks, is not only about your speaking, but it's also your listening, darling dears. Maybe you heard something in a situation that you realize that this situation is going nowhere. This is time for you to strike out on your own. My big cat water sign over the next 48 hour, wanting to release something major. We've also got a lot of lovely purple. This is third eye. Again, following your intuition for channelings as well as visions. Mm -hmm. Your higher self will definitely be talking to you over the next 48 hours. Tap into your imagination. The throat chakra represents Friday and the um, third eye represents Saturday. Today is, um, today, what's today? Today's Thursday, Friday and Saturday, yeah. Everything's lining up in the readings, darling dear. There's no trickery here. Only the truth roof. Pink is up. Nothing will come off this situation. A void of course moon. The, when the moon goes void of course, it builds us up to a momentum. Then you're left with what? Two of these and one of those to sort out your emotions. In this particular instance, it feels as though somebody's going to be mastering their emotions in order to what? Take this leap of faith. This also speaks about helping hands because the planetary energy said this is possibly the time where you're going to meet someone who is of in strength value in your life going forward. Mm -hmm. The energy of the fool also speaks about the meeting of a new partner. It not necessarily romantic, or it could also be a platonic, a good friend, a guide, a mentor. But it definitely is highlighting new relationships coming towards you over the next 48 hours. But it comes from what a major change of mind. Not wanting to be on the same what hamster wheel, darling dear. Wow, that was a mouthful. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? So I've got so many mice on my desk and everything's very different let's see oh just a second darling dears that's better it won't keep cutting out anyway like i was saying excuse them marcy will play yes we get french sometimes around here at don't get smoke central mm -hmm. moving forward wanting a new beginning releasing a addictive chains no longer wanted to be bound and constrained 
in a situation that's going nowhere, darling dears. And nothing's going to come of the situation until you choose to take this leap of faith. Your commitment is being tested. And it's a first quarter moon, darling dear. First quarter moon says what? Take action. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. I just come with the messages. Right. Let's get your cards and see what else is going on for you over the next 48 hours. Face of your deck, a decision to be made. Everything is lining up for you. My big cat water signs, a decision. Something that is going to be tapping into your emotional but it's also the sword's energy. This is a call for what? A clarity, right? And it, this also looks like scissors, darling. They are cutting off a situation, cutting out a soul type in order to be the true you. It's a situation that's been constraining you. I'm going to give you a double throw. How long has this situation been going on? Could be as much as six months, six weeks, six years. Mm -hmm. We also got a five and a one. Medician energy. Medician is a mercury energy, short journeys, plus the hierophant. My God, God in tarot, making a wise decision, darling dear. Trusting in your higher judgment, being directed by the universe. Good golly and gosh, you've got a whole lot, a lot of going on. This is also speaking about being recognized or someone recognizing you. You have a mentor coming towards you or you will become a mentor. This is going to be a significant meeting, a soul contract meeting, darling dears. So be on the alert. This is a time when you're going to have to keep your heart, your ears and your spirit open, darling dear, for incoming while backing off the outgoing. Mm -hmm. Quiet as it's kept. energies around my big cat water signs for the next 48 hours as they had been told to what come off the field and go into the barn the barn of infinite possibilities he was dealing with somebody who was emotionally manipulative darling dear the king the, the king of cups is also representative of a husband or wife this is someone divorcing himself from a situation having no more emotion to offer to a situation that was going nowhere and there'll be no going back in the upright this is opportunities Possibly emotions, nostalgia, some form of manipulation was keeping someone in a circumstance or situation that was a bit too long. This goes to what? Seven of Cups, darling dears. For a choice being made, a definite choice. We'll look a bit deeper in a moment. Mm -hmm. Clarify. Oh, there's a lot of cards falling off the back end. I'll take the one that my arm touched. Wow, releasing a major burden or challenge. The ones is also a lot of arguments, a lot of emotion was being chucked up in the air or will be over the next 48 hours. And somebody has what a come to Jesus moment of realizing life is for the living, not for being manipulated. Of the Watusi, we've got fire as well as water energy. This is the um the the um putting out a fire or somebody was a major drama person, like to start fires. This is finding a more intellectual way. The fool has a higher mind. This is someone wanting to pass light and move on from a situation that's going nowhere what's this sticking out we've got a two darling dear look i can't make it up single as f darling dear wanting to be solo dolo like the boys or girls on the pole queen of pentacles you'll be looking at your finances darling dears maybe even contemplating the amount of finances that was wasted in a situation with someone who is emotionally manipulative remember when you are a child of the light, darling dear, a divine one, one of the 144,000 of this generation, you're going to have to lose in order to win. You have to go through this circumstance and situation to realize that you can be what drama free and bad alone. The nine of peace always goes up to the queen of pentacles and yet here you are. This is the beginning of a spiritual journey for some of you water signs. Something that's gone on for, like I said, could have been six weeks, six days, six months or six years. Something that came to boiling point where the fire had to be quenched. Yeah. King of Cups, this manipulated marauder. A name is what? Prakala or Prakalisha of Skullduggerous Ways. Good golly and gosh, darling dear. The whole King of Cups on his face. This is someone who was temperamental, right? Yes, be aware. Like to create um a lot of gaslighting. Mm -hmm. A hoodwinker. A bringer of what? Cognitive dissonance. Yeah. Someone who created a major stumbling block or obstacle in your life, but you're seeing it from a different perspective. It also speaks about possibly even the police have been called in this situation. When it was what? Boiling over, darling dears. Yeah. 
loved a situation, this is also an attraction. It doesn't necessarily mean a romantic situation. It could be platonic and it could be the attraction of a mentor. I told you, someone of in-strength value is going to be stepping into your life over the next 48 hours, darling dears. The hangman speaks about difficulties. It could be even that somebody was taken to prison on the back of an argument that ended a situation that had to be ended. It was being more divinely guided to be over with. Maybe it's someone that comes to get them out of prison, a legal representative, darling dear. But yet we see no swords here. Mm -hmm. Maybe the police was called and they weren't taken away told to leave the property for a time but they kept walking darling dear they're not going back this is going to open the door for true att attraction for true soul tribe to be attracted to you at this stage of the game you'll be thinking more clearly eight of swords no longer mentally entrapped by a circumstance and situation this person was banking on you staying there in the past darling dear with them the high priestess you had to go is in you don't want that cup of opium it's a rusty cup knight of cups also says that somebody who's emotionally manipulative this is somebody who loves to give that cup to many could be a flagrant gossip this is some this is secrets someone's finding out about a major secret about someone darling dear which caused them to leave, leave the situation or will be leaving the situation at this moment in time they're counting their pentacles darling dear what was lost and what they have right now in order to gain this freedom we already saw it with the full rune darling dear freedom from a never-ending situation possibly drama.com this is someone that was hoodwinked darling dear into the situation why now wanting to drop the challenge why now what was the what why why now thank you yeah because you don't like being cheated and this is also what no longer sitting in the ruminating thoughts and it's also what making a firm decision whom this person or people were there's no coming back from that darling dear you're looking at what was lost in a situation the queen of pentacles sometimes looks like they're looking down at their child maybe you lost contact with a child being in this situation choosing the wrong the wrong path darling dear but you have to go wrong in order to get it right darling dear we all make mistakes whomsoever you're leaving behind is a page who's still attracted to you and what you brought to the table there may even be what a pregnancy on the table with this person mm -hmm. and there's a lot of lies being told the secret was revealed maybe it's you are not the father and you may you won't even need Mori to tell you that you know this you're leaving someone out in the cold and you ain't playing. Good golly and gosh. This goes to 12 of Pentacles, darling dears. If we're counting it up like that, 12 of Pentacles is the arm. Um, because we've got the 10, then we've got the jack, which is 11, right? The page. Then after that, the knight, which is 12. Knight of, the knight of Pentacles, something that, which was in a long time coming, gave a lot of loyalty in a situation. A loyalty that was, listen... Because the 12 goes down to a 3. This is about knowing your worth. You brought a lot of fertility and abundance to the situation. But now you're looking at the losses that you've taken in that situation. And you're prepared to take that loss. You're feeling as though you can recuperate it. Right over here is nothing but pentacles. This is the necessary releasing of the situation. After a, a secret is discovered. Possibly there was what? Handing out that, that good good to someone else. Maybe the child is not yours. Mm -hmm. Come through what? Um, Michael J. What did he say? Billy, the, that kid is not my son. Yeah, yeah. This is what? The new partnerships. This is about recognizing what you could actually bring to the table, darling dear. My big cat, listen. They don't want you to leave. They want you to stay in the mud hut at 911 Freddy Krueger Avenue, two streets over from the loser lane in the district of the damned. Oh no, right? This is a fate fated it was fated destined for you to leave the wheel of fortune also speaks about um distant lands or foreign people maybe you are a foreign person from a distant land but it could also speak about this advocate this person that's coming into your life in the next 48 hours could be from a foreign land to you or coming from a distance darling dears yeah and it's going to create a lot of healing or trigger your healing darling dear Mm -hmm. A miracle is coming to reward you, darling dear. We've got the Queen of Wands. Somebody's plotting and planning. Planning what? What are they planning? There's so many plans. Mm -hmm. Planning not to get caught up in their cranium over situations and circumstances that no longer serve you. And it also speaks about return to sender. Anybody sending you negative energies because words and actions are spells, darling dears. Return to sender big time. And as we start the read, we finish it. 
you're taking a leap of faith on the rune and the cards, darling dears. Take a risk on you. And that's the truth, Ruth, because success is on your path. But you have to take this leap of faith while the going's good. All of this pentacles, tangible things on your side. This is creating a more supportive, nurturing atmosphere for you to be you. Earth energy is um, feminine energy tapping into your subconscious mind, giving yourself these affirmations to what boys to up the get-go to get out of a situation and circumstance that was filled to the brim with secrets. You are the high priest or priestess sitting between the two pillars of wisdom, Boaz and Jashin. For what? Completion of a situation and the beginning of another darling dear. A new day, moon energy. Moon is cancer energy and it's the mother darling dears. Mm -hmm. Mother energy. Some of you are looking back in your childhood realizing that these paradigms was, was created because of the mother that you had. But you can't blame a situation if you're still living amongst it. Once you've got the 2020 of it, you have to what? Go within darling dear. The DNS, mm -hmm. it's not a lovely place, but a lot of insight will be found there. As well as what? Tapping into your North Node, darling dear, and getting your gangster on. As your Big Cat Water Sign Chronicles continues. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. Or smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cancer. Scorpio. Pisces. Big Cat Wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.